Android P is already here. Why don't you have a Android P on your Galaxy S9? Hi guys, I got Android P 9.0 running nearly flawless. Let's go ahead and take a look, baby. Hey guys, so I've got Android P running on my Galaxy S9. And you can see it's on my Android 9 there. Alright, if you have uh, Exynos version, the international version of the Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus, you can go ahead and install this. Also, you should be able to install on the Note 9 also. This is because the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus are now Project Treble compatible. I do have a video on what is Project Treble. If you don't know what Project Treble is, definitely watch that video as I explain in detail. But thanks to Project Treble, everything works out of the box, nearly flawless. Now, this is actually the Pixel Experience G. PSI, Pixel Experience ROM. Um, also, you can go ahead and install this on any Android that is Project Treble compatible. I am also going to show you how to install this on any Android device that supports Project Treble. Um, I should have that video up along with this one. Check the description uh, for the installation instructions. Alright, this is really nice. I've also got Magisk running v16.7. Now, Safety Net will not pass because Magisk Manager app is still using the old Safety Net API. It doesn't mean it doesn't pass. If you get invalid, don't worry about it. Wait till Magisk updates the app and it should pass. And I believe it does pass. I've got it rooted. You don't have to root it. Um, I've got everything working. Camera's working fine. Let's go and check it out. Um, you can also install the Google HDR camera, which I've got here, so you can take advantage of Google HDR. Obviously, you will lose some of the Samsung features. This is not a Samsung firmware, all right? You're going to lose all of those Samsung features. Um, anything that relies on TouchWiz UI, you're going to lose it with this one. But the good thing is it's super fast. You're not going to see any lag whatsoever. It's going to run just as fast as something like the OnePlus 6, which runs super fast in my opinion, and I really love this phone. I mean, just switching between apps is super fast. Um, just love it, all right? Um, also, this one is very, very fast also. Now, you will get all of the standard Android 9.0 features, including the new notifications. If you do go get notifications, you can obviously do a long press stop notifications if you want, straight from the notification panel. Of course, the new volume controls is really nice, especially use headphones, or maybe you're watching some videos and you want to quickly change the change the sound and you can, oops, and you can quickly go into the settings just by hitting that button and adjust your volumes, which is very, very nice. And also this comes with the full Pixel launcher. Um, so you'll actually get the exact same launcher as the one on a real Pixel. I've got a Pixel 2 here to show you. You'll see they're literally identical. All right, home settings, um, exactly the same, which is very nice. Again, you're gonna lose all your Samsung features such as uh, the app search, all right? Um, none of that stuff is gonna work. This is basically turning your phone into a Pixel device, all right? It's almost like a conversion to Pixel. But some of you may be interested in something like this if you have a phone that support it, even if you don't have a Galaxy S9, if you have a phone that supports Project Treble, um, you can go ahead and install this, which is awesome. All right, you will even find some digital well-being feature, um, which sort of a new beta feature with Android 9.0, which is actually not on Pixel yet. You'll get this too. Your fingerprint sensor will work just fine. It's actually slightly faster in my opinion. Um, you can also do face unlock. Um, obviously, you're not gonna be able to do iris scanner or intelligence scan, obviously, because this is not based on TouchWiz. All right, I've also tested out um, video chat like Periscope. The front camera, back camera works flawless. The only problem I've found uh, with video recording, um, you'll get sort of these green lines or something while you record. Now, it actually records fine. Just when you're recording, you'll have a problem. Um, or you can go ahead and use the Google HDR camera, uh, which also has some <laughs> artifacts when you record. Oh, actually, it's doing fine. Oh, it's doing fine, okay. Sometimes you'll get some artifacts. Uh, but the important thing is your video recording works flawless in, in terms of just recording, playback. And you can see it's working flawless there. Um, 
yeah, video recording. I do see some artifacts there. It's adding some new thing. Um, so that's something new I just found out. Um, but if you use a regular video recorder on the AOSP, you should be just fine. Let's go ahead and play the back. And you can see it plays back just fine. Not a huge problem, but you're going to lose all your, you know, ultra slow motion stuff. Um, anything that relies on touch -wiz. Now, this is not for everybody. This is for those of you who want to try Android P now on devices like Samsung Galaxy S9 here, where Samsung will take probably another six to eight months to update to Android P. All right, maybe not six months, but it should be another at least three months. But this does turn your phone into a pure Google Android device. You'll be able to experience it. Of course, when Samsung comes out with Android P official one, you can go ahead and switch back to it, which is the beauty of having an unlocked bootloader. All right, one of the new features with Android P, you can go ahead and turn on auto rotate, or sometimes you're browsing websites at night in your bed, and you're sort of going like this in your bed, and sometimes you do wanna leave it in portrait mode, all right? Um, but if you do wanna do landscape, whenever you do that, you'll see this extra button where you can go ahead and rotate it manually. Come, it didn't work. There we go. There we go. Sorry, I don't know what that glitch was there. Um, but also when you go back, you can go ahead and press that. That way it will lock. For example, um, you're already reading like this and sometimes you know in the bed, you're all reading like this and you don't want your phone to rotate, auto rotate. By default with Android P, auto rotate is off. So now you have the freedom to manually adjust easily by using the extra button there. All right, that's just one of the many features and of course, battery life is going to be very, very good with this ROM. Also, performance um, is pretty good. I think it's a slightly better than um, TouchWiz. And in my last test, I got 247,000, which is actually slightly higher than TouchWiz for Exynos, right? Snapdragon is a lot higher, but for Exynos, I think it's a, actually a record number. But apart from the benchmark, I mean, your UI is going to run much, much faster than Samsung because Samsung has put way too much bloatware. If you're experiencing any kind of lag, this is going to definitely fix it also. Voice calls, 4GLT, all of that stuff works. And also you do get pixel wallpapers. All right, pixel icons, which is really nice. Again, you can install this on any Android device that supports Project Treble. Um, so if you guys want to install it, just check out my tutorial on how to install GSI, all right, generic system image, which you can go ahead and use on any Android device that supports Project Treble. Now with Project Treble, there's absolutely more reasons now to get a phone that you can unlock the bootloader and also root your Android. And you know what? You're gonna be able to install a ton of ROMs. One of the biggest problems in the past was people would ask me, for example, I would install this awesome ROM on my Galaxy S8, and then people will be like, Hey Max, can I install that on my Note 2? And unfortunately, I'll have to answer them back like, um, Sorry, this is only for the S8 or Note 8. All right. Now, with all the newer phones with Project Treble, anytime you see a ROM on my phone, you're going to be able to install it on your phone. So long as you can unlock the bootloader on your phone. If you do want to go that route, I would try to avoid any of the US Snapdragon Galaxy smartphones from Samsung because they have locked bootloaders. Avoid Verizon phones. Um, try to get unlocked phones if you can. All the international phones are great. Show me phones are great. They do have like a 15 day OEM lock, but you can still unlock the bootloader. The One Pluses are great. Uh, all the Google phones are great. Yeah, I mean, these days it's all about choices. And with Project Treble, it brings a whole new world of customization for your phone and the updates that the user will be able to um, do himself or herself easily. So awesome stuff. Um, hit the thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one. And as always, stay home on Android. Click here to subscribe.